I'm going to share a couple tips on picking the right extension cord for your projects. And it's important if you're doing outside work that you pick something that's rated outdoor. And on the outside of the insulation itself, you're going to find a W, which means it's rated for wet conditions and also for direct sunlight. You also want to make sure for an outdoor cord you have a, a cord that's grounded. And on everything that you're using, whether it's a circular saw or a hedge trimmer, it's going to be marked somewhere on the body of it how many amps or watts it's pulling. And so it's very important that you match these up. So for example, we have a 16 gauge cord here and it's 25 feet long and this will pull, allow you to pull 13 amps. Now the same cord, a 16 gauge cord, but 100 feet, this is only going to allow you to pull 10 amps. So the longer the cord gets, the more resistance it actually builds up heat and it reduces the amount of electricity that's passed through the cord. So if you have an electric lawnmower or a circular saw that needs to pull 12 or 13 amps, you really wouldn't want to use this. It actually can damage the motor if it's not getting enough electricity. So that's one thing you want to look at when you're doing a project. The other thing is just the gauge itself. So I have two 25 foot cords here and this one again is rated for 13 amps and the 14 gauge cord this is rated for 15 amps. So most breakers in a home is a 15 amp breaker and so almost all projects you'll be able to use this cord for it. But again if you had a longer extension cord it wouldn't pull as many amps. So that's one thing to look at. Now if you're inside and doing projects, or let's say you're, you're plugging a lot of things into this, most interior cords are just designed for temporary use. And something like this, a pretty typical indoor extension cord, this one is rated usually between 7 and 13 amps. So it's important to look at what it's rated for and then add up everything that you're putting onto it. And I'll put some numbers underneath the video on some typical uh, appliances and how much they draw. But if you're looking for something more permanent, this is really what you're looking for. You're looking for a power strip or a surge protector. And for a power strip, you want something that's grounded and you want something with an internal circuit breaker. And this will actually allow you to use up to 15 amps and it's much safer than using something lighter like this. So, a couple tips and then underneath the video I'll put some more additional information.